The night the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and a little more more than a little spooky. Colonel Standard stands on his quads, neon glow, and speaks softly. Oh <laughs> glow now. <laughs> It's mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go, I want you to know they're not great representation of my s- Oh, before you go, I want you to know they're not great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Please never remind me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Oh my god, I hope my mom doesn't walk in and hear me voicing all this weirdness and be like, Adam. What are you doing? You're laying potato, what are you doing? Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that I find so inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him that you're developing feelings for him. Part uh, Colonel Sanders? Yes, Chick fil A. There's something I need to tell you. Uh -huh. Hold it right there. I give you Medit Mediton's voice. Have you noticed that? I miss Undertale. There's something I need to tell you first. I'm in love with you too. Oh jeez. You see, when I was a boy, I had the dream of one day I would be the greatest shop in the world has ever seen. I can't read. I can't speak. I'm I'm just overcome with love for you. And every day since then, I've been working towards that dream. Day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, lifting a lot of weights. Like, so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts. Oh, we should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, no! I, you... Shut up, I'm the one to say the inspirational stuff and be the star of the story! I love your hair, it's just like correction itself in. Are we forgetting that you your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance you hear a long, sad sigh. And the sound of one teardrop. <laughs> Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, me, me. I'm the hero. <laughs> the spark monster. I am here. The spark monster is here. To fight a hero. That is adorable. I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. How dare you threat me as I was just letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be very afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster! See? Oh my gosh, I love you, sport monster. He's ramming on purpose. Is, a, is he ramming on purpose or is that just coincidence? Before you can discuss impacts any further, it's a turn based fight sequence! Yay! What will you do? Attack! You said you don't want to be attacked. Which side will you use? Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage. This just got real. That really upset Spark Monster. Spark Monster goes on you there. They spit hot and ready at you. They took one damage. Defend! They decided to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. Then you stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure, you do you. <laughs> Spark Spark focuses their mashed mine and draws energy from Monster Earth itself. They grow larger and more today. How do you respond? Attack! You said go on good and What will you use? Cook with love! I don't know, two damage? Texting me. 
I was in two sets of marks in the quad. I wonder who was going out to clean that mess up. I feel like he's one of those ones that goes through his ultimate attack. Round the dead. Okay, villain. Right, villain, you're a rain terror. Stop fear. Father Sanders summons the energy of 1,000 chickens. Chicken attack! Chicken attack! Schmidt is awesome! Put a high power punch and you're too loud! Blow your clothes off! Put a power punch is 10 damage! Four monsters defeated! You. you saved me! An injured spot of monsters spews. spews steam into the night. Spirit wretched beast. You managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize it's still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast, and don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. Oh, I sure will! I will forget this, and I certainly won't be back, like you said! Sport monster scuttles off into the night. What even is this game anymore? The I need to stop this. Stop it. Monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to cite it is Borgo. Hmm. Borgo. The same sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding a mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle bars, you realize that your final attack has left you completely defeated. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Ugh. The image of Carl Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. It must have helped you get home in your tired state. Why are you tied to the furniture? Why do you have no clothes? What has happened? No, <laughs> you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. This is creepy! Good night, my colon. Good night, my colon. Just say good night, colon! In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders for some reason. Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Mm. Oh, oh, Mr. Ghosty Goo! Mr. Ghosty Goo is there! I like you. You wake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. The memories or premonitions. Then there was a secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and called you outright. How much of a secret, huh? It's probably because he already trusts you so much. I'm sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. 
You made up with your bestie friend at school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the sport monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I I might be um pregnant. I think I might like ah. Like him, like like like. You know the like that you like like someone you know you know like. I know it, it sounds like I'm moving too fast, but there's something about him. I I like him. I like like him. Aww. We got we got to talking after class. He's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. You know that Colonel Sanders enlisted in the army when he was only three? Not only that, they founded a special unit of super soldiers who all wore the same hats. Just because he put a hat on one time, he thought it looked cool. <laughs> I actually, I actually believe that. But, um, military hats. <laughs> but, um, so, apparently, the white linen suit thing was because he was at some sort of, like, gathering? It might have been military, I don't know. He was at some sort of gathering, and he was wearing a white linen suit, and he really stood out, and so that just became the thing. Um, I know that one random bit of history. <laughs> but, Paul Sanders is going to wear a hat. He wears a ribbon tie. Either way, maybe it'd be best if he took it slow with his new boy. Oh, either way. Maybe it'd be best- I think I just read the other thing in the wrong place. Either way, maybe it'd be best to take it slow with this new boy. Like I am with Carl Sanders. Yeah, I mean, we just went to bed. You and Carl Sanders, the coolest guy in school, most famous student to ever attend the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning! You're a thing now? Fuck you. We really connected yesterday. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You're great! Yeah, look at you, you're great! You put on pants today, I didn't, but you did! You're great! You have an idea of how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why don't you tell me his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. Hmm. Secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. Secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Marion checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation, with my family, a lovely man approached me at a botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices! Man gave me some to show me what he meant. I thought it was a powder cream from super duper rare dried flower petals. And that if I did him a big favor, he could I could have some of my own. Excuse me, um, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and I brought them home. It was so nice he even met me at the gate where I arrived later. And I cooked with them and a really strange feeling came over me. It was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. <laughs> you got yourself some, um, some marijuana, didn't you? Whatever, anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. Then we'd love to know more about this new spices. Well, I'm definitely not gonna supposed to share what kind of standard secret recipe. Besides, I only know one ingredient, so I doubt it's much use to anyone. Please, 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 tell it means a lot to me. No one has not came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Make up a fake ingredient. You quickly think of a fake ingredient. I don't know, how about... It was I am new. I know it sounds like some guy in witch's potion, but that's what... But what can you do? I am new? Wow! I thought of imagining such a thing. And you figure you satisfy her curiosity and she'll move on. First, she immediately turns around and does some dumb, some thumb typing on her phone, and you can't quite see it. It's probably not good. Before you can ask to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. 
wind rushes in, chair pops and petals fill the air. And it's yours truly, Clash for Obvious Adventures. No. Your wish. Carl Sanders, he's arriving at school. Run up to him. Oh wait, no. It's the best way to show Mary how serious you and the Colonel will be run up to him. Show him to sweep you onto the back of the side and you'll ride away together. That'll show up for good. Oh, Colonel! My Colonel! <laughs> oh, you're sending most surprising words and you realize I'm kicking you directly in the face. Force of look completely knocks you out cold. In the darkness, you see a vision. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that! Can I go back? Ooh! Chick fil -A. I'm here to deliver you a message. Not this guy. It's important that you remember this exactly as I say it. If you forget, the world could come to an end, so you know it's serious. I've been trapped in this realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Only you can save me, and you need to, all you need to repeat my name three times. Interrupting student, interrupting student, interrupting student. And that name is... Or he can continue to suddenly awake. Oh, jeez. Oh. You awake to find Colin Sanders tending to you. Hey, where else did you break the light for the statue of secret sources? Or is that just so you call us a secret? You're at some nuggets. Sucking on my tendies. You remember that song. Sucking on my Alright. Compliment the Christmas ship of his horse's shoes. Maybe you should be riding horse school. Maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who is in the wrong here. One thing's for sure. The colonel is said it's pretty darn dreary. The horse, his beautiful shoes. I can really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. That's nice to hear. No one appreciates good. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship. I got hearts for that. <laughs> And with that, Connor Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. <laughs> what even is this game? I actually need to stop, and I'm not finishing the day. We're only on day two. I'm gonna leave this here for now. It's been awesome, though. I can leave, so I'm guessing it saves automatically. Okay. Will it? Will it? Will it? Please do. I love this loading screen. It's crispy, figured looking, delicious fried biscuit and chicken goodness. And it's one of these cute pastel polka dot backgrounds, so you know it's good. But seriously, I need to cook dinner for real and, um, go home. Well, not go home, but go to the other house. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please press like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want to keep seeing more content, please follow me on YouTube, as well as any of my social medias that you would like to. I have a Twitter, an Instagram, a Patreon, and a Snapchat. Most of those are just going to be some little updates, what I'm doing. Patreon, you can support me, help me make better content save up for different games, different um, processing programs, different things, special little goodies for you. If you donate, you get your name in the credits. And um, also, Snapchat, I'm not really going to be like chatting with people that much, as much as giving you behind the scenes, little sneak peeks, fun things like that. Uh, Instagram will be polls, as well as Twitter. Be some polls of, you know, hey guys, what do you want to see? Discuss with me what you guys want to see. Talk to me, contact me there. Just more connection with you guys. So please think about following me on any of these, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!